Hot town, hot town, hot town on TV. Hot town, that's you and me. Hot town, upside down, hanging out of an airplane. Welcome to Our Town. I'm your host, Larry Frost, and we have a great show for you today. In our first segment, Ainsbury Chamber of Commerce and Industrial Foundation Executive Director Stephanie McGowan will have a sit-down interview. In the second segment, Main Street in Our Town, April 30th, 2008, will show the beauty and vitality of Our Town. And if you have any young children, there'll be a little footage of Scoop from Bob the Builder fame. So let's get started. Welcome. Today we're at the Ainsbury Chamber of Commerce and Industrial Foundation with Executive Director Stephanie McCowan. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Um, I've been going to do this shoot for a while, but we just never got down this way. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I was born and raised here in Amesbury, and I moved away uh, to the south for about eight years. And my husband and I came back here two years ago to get married at St. Joseph's Church right up the street. Oh, wow. And when we came back, I recognized all of the changes that have taken place. And um, unfortunately, during high school was one of the more difficult times in Amesbury when um, every high school student was a little bit embarrassed of what their town looked mm -hmm. like. And when I came back two years ago, I was embarrassed that I didn't live here, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, my parents live here. And... Uh, having spent that long here, I knew that I should come back. So I heard about the job uh, with the Chamber of Commerce, and I started investigating into that. And at the same time, my husband and I started looking for a house. And we found a house and was in it for about four months, and I got offered the job here. Great. So this is a good time to ask you what you love about Amesbury. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, boy. Um, personally, I love that I can walk down the street and see someone I know every single time mm -hmm. that I go anywhere. I go to the post office, um, I go, you know, out to Acapulco's or Stop and Shop, that corner of the woods, um, go up to Hodgie's. Everywhere I go, I always see somebody I know. And some people may not like that. I love it. <laughs> well, I think it's a safe town and plus the environment is still a town. Very, very small town. Um, you know, just everybody knowing each other and everybody helping each other out. A lot of the businesses participate in things together. Um, just that sense of community mm -hmm. as well as there being a real defined community. That's great. Could you tell us a little bit about the number of members that you have in the Chamber of Commerce? Yep. We have about um, 210 members. Wow. Um, well, not, so, not as many as we would like to have, but we... When we were the chamber, it was a little bit easier. We had uh, we received a lot of money from Town Hall. We were affiliated with Town Hall. They supported us. Uh, it was a mutual supported program. But now we went to the chamber because we were not receiving funding from Town Hall, which is fine. So but now you're separate. Now we're separate. Yep. Um, but we have to do our own fundraising. And they support us fully, but they just can't do it financially. Um, <clears throat> So our numbers uh, did drop down quite a bit. And, of course, we've lost some businesses mm -hmm. with the economy slowing down a little bit. But um, I'm building that number back up. I and mean, already since the beginning of the year, we've got about 20 new members. So I think we're on our, going the right direction. 
So if I was a new business coming into town, mm -hmm. would um, would I contact you and then you just give us like a brochure of what's going on and all that stuff? Absolutely. I have a membership packet that goes through everything that is offered. Um, our, you know, even our lowest level of membership still includes a lot. We, as a new business, if mm -hmm. you were doing that uh, or relocating, we do a ribbon cutting program. Um, we'll send out email blasts on our email list. Um, we get you on our website. You get all of the perks of being able to go to the business after hours, any of the breakfasts, um, just an opportunity to participate in everything that the community does. And also the membership, a, a small part of it is considered a contribution towards the opportunity for the chamber to get out there and to market the town. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that's something, a lot of things come through town and people don't even know, and it's something that the businesses could take advantage of to make another dollar hundred dollars whatever and it gives the chamber the opportunity to be able to market that and advertise with that money so um if you is it mostly businesses like in the town or it can it be in industry and stuff oh, like absolutely. that absolutely absolutely we're probably um i would say probably like a third industrial and then um you know two-thirds more of just the retail commercial mm -hmm. business um, but the industry really helps. They typically have um, a lot less overhead. They tend to pay a higher membership fee, so they mm -hmm. really help us out a lot more. That sounds really good. Um, again, it was with three different separate membership offerings. Well, actually, there's a lot more than that. We have um, for citizens. Yeah. We do it for a hundred dollars, and that's more of that becomes more of just something of a in a sense of a donation um, that you are giving back to the community. Helps us with the tree lighting, with doing the block party, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, anything like that that is, brings the community together. From there, we have home based uh, and nonprofit organizations are two hundred dollars. Uh, businesses with five or less full time employees are three hundred dollars. More than five full-time employees is $500, and then the benefits increase, and we have a $1,000, $2,000, and $3,000 level. So if you were to join today, you would get the remainder of the month free, and then your membership would pick up on the first day of the next month and last for 365 days. And generally, you would uh, be able to go on a website mm -hmm. and, and look at your business? or. Yep, our um, website is amesburymass.com, and on there you can see all the businesses that do participate in the chamber. We have a special page for our new members. Um, one other big thing that we have coming up that you could find all the information you could possibly want about is our golf tournament on oh. June 9th. Mm -hmm. That is our absolute biggest fundraiser for the chamber. Um, we have large sponsors, we have small sponsors, people that just donate, a, donate an item that we can give away for raffle prizes or we can do for a silent auction. Um, it's $150 per person to play, but that is 18 rounds of golf as well. 18 rounds of golf? <laughs> 18 <Yeah>. holes. <laughs> 18 holes. Be a long month. And, <laughs> yeah. 18 holes as well as the cart, um, a box lunch, and a fantastic four-course dinner. Um, so relatively speaking, it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, we have many, many silent auction items that will have a lot of golf clubs that have been donated by Woody Camet. Um, and other things that we haven't even received yet, but that we put together every year. So it, again, it's our biggest fundraiser, and it's probably the most fun day of the year for everybody. Is that the golf course that's in Amesbury, or is it? No, it's at the Links at Outlook, which is in Brunswick, Maine. And uh, the reason why we do it there is it's 18. It's a true 18-hole yeah. course. So unfortunately, with Amesbury only being nine, it didn't work out. With the we have about 150 people that participate, so it just couldn't accommodate that many people to get it done in a reasonable amount oh, yeah. of time. Yeah. Now, generally, your day's fairly long, or is it regularly nine to five for you? Or <laughs> um, in this office, it's nine to five, and then I am on different committees and boards that meet in the evening. Um, also, with the chamber, we have business after hours, mm -hmm. we have breakfast, we have board of director meetings. Um, about four days out of the month, I'm in about seven thirty in the morning. Um, but typically, I can get out uh, relatively easy, easy, early. Sorry, um, my board of directors is very understanding. They know that I put in a lot of hours, and as long as we're bringing in the membership and and getting the support of the community, whatever amount of time it takes to get it done is the time. Now, how many people are on the board? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen, uh, 15 board of directors. Um, local. Yep. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Matt Sherrill from Gould Insurance is my chairman. Curtis Woolitz from RTN Bank is my vice chairman. Dave Mansfield from the Provident is uh, our treasurer, and then many, many other people in the business community. Oh, yeah, those are all nice guys. I've, I've yeah. met them briefly walking back and forth, oh, yeah. but uh, they're nice. Very nice. Uh, the other question I was going to ask you from the kickoff the other night, now, you, you, the commerce gets involved in kickoffs and then the party, block party coming up. Mm -hmm. this, right. Yep, the block party is on June 25th. It's the kickoff for Amesbury Days. Um, 
contrary to popular belief, the chamber is not involved in um, Amesbury Days, other than we do fully support it, and we make sure that we have all of the information posted on our website and such. But uh, Sue Yeams from Town Hall, who is the program coordinator, she is the one that puts it all together. Um, she is the one that gets everybody to, gets all their schedules together and gets it distributed for everyone um, so that everybody in the community knows what's going on. Um, but we do the block party, and we have uh, a magician, we have a band, we have pony rides, we have um, a yo -yo. balloon, yep, the yo-yos, <laughs> all of that stuff, all of that stuff. So, yeah, it's a really great time for all. And, of course, we have a, um, a beer truck that comes, yeah. so you can have a cocktail if you'd like. Um, we have uh, famous lobster rolls that I guess last year were a little bit um, overpriced, just to let everybody know they will be better priced this year. Lobster rolls, good price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they blocked up the whole street. I got a lot of footage of the um, the yo-yos and stuff like oh, that. Good. It was re really a it was a great time. I thought first yeah. time I've actually been here what six years on Pond Street, uh -huh. and that's the first time I've well because I worked most of the time. It was the first right. time I was able to go there and just enjoy the the town and have fun and watch people have fun. So it was I'm really excited. really nice. Oh yeah. Be, I mean, it's um, this is the tenth annual, I believe. And yes, I wouldn't know. <laughs> it is. It is. No, it's the 10th annual, and it works out that the way that I moved and the amount of time that I've been gone that I perfectly missed the block party ever. So this will be my very first one, like even living here and knowing anything about it. So I'm very excited. Now, uh, back to the, um, if you may talk about the kickoff for the, um, the cancer. For the relay, yep. Now, the, the town doesn't sponsor a team like you, the mm -mm. would not going that way. So each individual uh, group or committee can just start that, and yeah. and as a commerce, you're there to support um, any what. Well, basically, the it's kind of interesting how the Chamber of Commerce did get involved. Um, my mother has been in charge of the survivors for six years, ever since the Relay for Life. Happened. And when you told me that was your mother, I didn't believe that. I know, because she's little. <laughs> she's cute. Well, not that's not the reason. Just that you have dark hair and she's yeah, blonde and yeah. it's like, no, you, you're neither, kidding me. Neither's real. Yeah. <laughs> but so, um, yeah, she's been doing it for six years. And with me moving back, she asked if I would be in charge of entertainment this year. So I'm co-chairing uh, co the entertainment committee with Joan Orlando. And um, when they found out that I had got this job and that I was doing that position, they tied it all together. Okay, yeah. So um, I'm not really sure what role the Chamber of Commerce is taking in it, in the Relay for Life, other than it's great to have a big name behind anything, and it's great to have the support of the community and the businesses, and we'll have it posted on our website. We'll do right, as much yeah. getting it out there as we possibly can, uh, but for me, it's a little bit more of, of a personal thing, because my mother is a survivor, and she's been very involved. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. So if someone had an idea and they needed some help with um, entertaining, they wanted to bring a group in or a mm -hmm. band or whatever, they could call you? Yeah, or absolutely. They could call at me at the chamber. Um, my number here is 978-388-3178. And, um, or, of course, our website is amesburymass.com. And uh, there's a contact on there where you can email me if you want to. And they could go to Tommy Hanshaw for uh, anything like a radio or um, maybe a TV thing, commercial or something that you want to get the word out on what you're doing. Absolutely. I mean, and any of us really, um, anybody that's on the committee for the Relay for Life is more than happy to help answer any questions about the event as much as to our ability or direct people in the right direction for who to talk to about it. Now, I'm... Um, if anybody really wants to become a member of the Chamber of Commerce, um, call Stephanie or go on the website, mm -hmm. the Amesbury website, and that is what, again? AmesburyMass.com. Dot com. Yep. And I think for a future of Amesbury, it's best that, um, you know, at least uh, in, re inquire what's going on. And uh, Stephanie would help you out with, again, the uh, number of members, um, what to look for, what's beneficial to your business, mm -hmm. to what can be brought to it, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's a lot of people I'm sure that would be more than helpful to make sure that you could get be very successful in Ainsbury with your business absolutely and that's that is really the biggest key that I think a lot of people miss that what can the chamber do for me mm -hmm. you're really only going to get as much out of it as you put into it we will do as much as we can but what we try to do is as a whole bring people into the community from right. outside yeah. um, you know obviously tr first try to get exposure to the small town from um, 
people that live here and then start going out a little bit at a time and by getting people's membership money that's that's how we can afford to do that that's how i can afford to have my job to market amesbury i mean <laughs> to put it simply um and you're always looking for new ideas i would imagine always looking for new ideas i mean we're a two-man office and uh to help out 18 two women two women office <laughs> that's true <laughs> to help out you know 18,000 people that just live here right. never mind the people that live out of town and work here and that come and visit i mean it's a it's a lot of work for two people oh yeah so um you know every bit of help that we can get any ideas any suggestions comments feedback positive or negative always welcome always that's great. And, and also, I think that, not to be negative on this, but without having connection, any politic connection, right. it's easier to work with the business and the people because you don't have to worry about going through a regulation or, or well, there's some, but not, not right. much, not like it was. And that has been one of the, the things that I never had to contend with because I've only been in this job for a few months. But um, it it is something that I... I'm seeing that there really was a problem with the connection with town hall, that it was very political. Mm -hmm. And I, that happens with anybody in any town. But luckily, we got out of that. We still have the support of town hall. We still support them, uh, just not in a political it's, sense. It's just a new beginning. Yeah. So you can just bring on fresh ideas. Yeah. And, and we don't. We get totally stay out of politics. All we stay in is town hall keeps Amesbury clean. We bring the people to it. Done. Now, I noticed when I first came in, also there's all the brochures of different businesses, mm -hmm. and, and not just Angry, but the local North Shore community, right? It's actually just our members. Just your members? Mm -hmm. Okay. All yeah. of our members display, they can display all of their information down there. There were so many down there, I didn't think I you had know. that many members. <laughs> <laughs> 225? <laughs> yep. That is a lot. Yep. So um, anybody like that or nonprofit organizations, we do make an exception to, like the churches and such, yeah. that we definitely will um, put their information downstairs for people to have access to. That's great. I don't think they could have picked a more bubbly a person. That's incorrect <laughs> English, but it's just, uh, you can see her. She's like bubbly, answers the phone the same way. And it's a long day, too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what the bubbling is, right? Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Anything we might have not covered? No, I don't. I really don't think so. I just hope that uh, people out there will give the chamber the opportunity, or, or me for that matter, the opportunity to prove that the chamber is going in a new direction, that we are for the best interest of the residents and the businesses. And, um, and I'm a new face. I'm considered the new face of the chamber, which I have been told several times. And um, I hope people trust that and accept that and see that we're getting ready to go in a whole new, exciting, bubbly direction. And before I wrap up, I just thought of this. Is it like once a month meetings or when people belong to this, you go to like a meeting once a month or once a week? Or? Uh, such a hard thing if you're on a committee, which we encourage all of our members to be on a committee. It is once a month. Um, but the fun stuff, the business after hours, the mm -hmm. breakfast, those happen on average once a month. But like June with the golf tournament and the block party, we obviously won't have a business after hours. But typically they're every month. There's some type of social event for networking. That's what I was going to say. So the communication is there. Yep. Not just by phone or website, but yeah. going to the meetings and getting involved. I think it's like anything else in this town. The, the good thing I see when I'm doing these shows is that whatever direction the person's coming from, the energy level and the positive thinking and just to do the right thing has always been there. And, mm -hmm. and I, I say it a lot on camera. It's not because I'm just interviewing with you, but each, each, each show that came out was the people that really, really want to make Ainsby work. Yeah. And, and not so that we're all billionaires or whatever, just, yeah. but just to make it work as a community where it's safe. Yeah. Uh, you can bring your children up, still get yeah. involved with each other and, and grow and prosper and just um, basically have a good time, I guess. Yeah. Good Stephanie, very, very nice Thank to meet you. you. you and um, I wish the best. Please call her, and uh, she'll give you the number one more time and the website one more time, just in case you missed it. <laughs> the phone number is 978-388-3178, and the website is www.amesburymass.com. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up next in this segment will be um, in, let's see, this is April still, right? Or no, the May 1st, okay. On April 30th, I went through town and got a lot of pictures of the white trees that will be turning green in the summer. But um, it's, it's fantastic, and you're going to love the next segment. So stay tuned. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome back. I'd like to go over a few announcements. On Monday, May 26th is Memorial Day. Services will start at 7.30. We'll have a parade at 10, and the ceremony will be, follow the parade. And I have a little note about our neighbor's table. If you have any food concerns or emergencies, please contact Rosemary Warner at 1-978-835-3016. She can give you some information on the USDA if you need any questions and help. On the other side of the coin, if you'd like to volunteer or you could assist our neighbor's table in any way, call the same number. On Wednesday, May 28th, will be the Chicken Soup for the Soul Day. It's held at Harborside Maplewood Healthcare. It'll be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For further information, please call 1-978-388-8138. On May 31st will be the 10th anniversary of the union between the Sacred Heart and St. Joseph Church. Mass is at 4 p.m. Well, that's it for today's show. Work hard, stay healthy, and please take time to care for someone. From our town, bye-bye. Okay. Just like Michelangelo into the blue on heavenly wings Cargo hand bones don't take off no smoke, no mirror, no string I can't take off these dark shades I can only say how It's too beautiful Our town, our town On TV, our town Upside down, hanging out of an airplane. I remember when the new constellation went transcontinental. It was also experimental. I took a ride in a Goonie bus.